folks, welcome back to Jerome B. Farm and Homestead. This video is going to be a quick inspection on this Hive 20. So this hive has superseded or they had an emergency uh, replacement on their queen. I About uh, two weeks ago, I found uh, queen cells in there on, up on the frames, not below them like swarm cells, but supersedure type cells. And I did find uh, some virgin queens in there. I clipped one and uh, put her in a queen clip and when I found a second queen I took that clip over and I put it into a split that I pulled from this hive so and that's hive number one which you may have saw that inspection before this where that queen is not to be found so I want to get in here and see if we can if I can find a spot of queen and see how they're doing also I want to check their food stores because this hive was set uh, with food stores earlier and I'm concerned because I hadn't been feeding this one as much that it may need to be fed. So let's get in here, see what we find. So we got bees up in the super a little bit, looks like, which is a good thing. I don't think they're pulling anything up. They're just hanging out up there. I'll pull the center one out, take a look at it real quick. But uh, I doubt there's anything in here. I actually do see a couple of cells with some nectar in them. And they're right here where these bees are sticking their head in. So maybe the flow is back going which is a good thing. So we'll get this pulled off and moved over. And I'm going to put this on top of that honey super over here just to keep that any honey smell out of the air for robbing. And when you're going to go looking for a virgin queen, don't go smoking the crap out of your hive. Because those queens, those young queens, man, they run like Carl Lewis. They're fast. And they don't stick around. Yeah, so this is full of nectar here. And I did feed this hive top feeder a few bucketfuls. So that's probably what you're seeing there. There's some shiny in that. So that's good. So one thing down, we don't have to worry about these bees starving for now. Lots of uh, liquid in this. So now I'm really focusing for a queen, which I wouldn't expect to find her right there. She's probably going to be more towards the center. She's there. A lot of times they'll be on the frame that they emerged from too. But it's been a while since she's emerged. I'm seeing less nectar in here towards the center. Which is good. We don't want this thing so full of nectar that a queen wouldn't be able to lay. Seems like when I inspected this hive before, it was like in the evening or it was really overcast. And uh, all the bees were in the hive and it's very difficult to... Uh, bought a queen because the bees were just piled on top of each other. So now there's probably a lot of foragers out in the field. Got a lot more space in here. Some of them are up in that super. So here's one of our uh, emergency queen cells right here that has emerged. If I remember right there were at least three, maybe four or five that I found. And some were in the bottom. This is a prime laying frame here. Nice clean polished cells. They do have a little bit of nectar stored on there. Here's pollen. So they have nectar and pollen. Usually next to pollens where you'll see your brood. That'll be this next frame here. But it's really too early for brood for this uh, queen. 
If she's mated, uh, she's probably right on the verge of started laying. The way I found one of the queens in here is they had her balled up and were killing her. And that I just put my queen my clip over that ball and got all the other bees out and there was a queen in it. So and that's the one I took over to hive one. So if we don't find a queen in here, this will be a hive that we can go do splits and tear down when we get our six queens in from Wildflower Meadows. And if we do find a queen in here, we can still split it. Just make it a single deep. There's quite a few drones in here, which makes it even more difficult to spot a virgin queen. This frame here is almost completely full of nectar. Let's get in the bottom. I'm not seeing as much uh, liquid stores down here in the bottom. So maybe we're more likely to spot our queen down here. Well, now there's liquid here. <laughs> well, definitely for having pulled a split out of here, this hive is uh, pretty healthy condition and and being on a brood break with not having any young emerging so I think it was two weeks ago when I was in here there was just a little bit of capped brood left So I believe I've spotted her. She's right there. Man, how's that for luck? Spotting that thing. You can't hardly distinguish her from a worker. I lost her. There she is again. Right there. Let's get her in there. So we're not queenless. Man, that's a little queen. So I would say she's not mated based on the looks and size of her. But that's one more queen than we found over in the split we pulled on hive number one. After she gets out and mates, she'll get some size to her if she makes it back. But she better get out there and get busy. All right. Man, when I first saw that queen, I was like, no, nah, that's not a queen. She's just big. <laughs> and I'm like, no, I think that's the queen. And I watched her for a while, and uh, yeah, I talked myself into it. Sure enough, yeah, I'm certain that's a virgin queen. And uh, spotting a little bee like that amongst all those, it's, uh, it's the queen bee in a uh, bee stack there, trying to find that, har har. But anyway, we found her, so we're queen right for now. 
Uh, she's not a laying queen yet. She's got to get out, mate, and that usually takes two to three weeks. Uh, after you see a queen like that that's not mated, you'll be lucky if in three weeks you start seeing eggs in here. So to me, that's not a 100% certain thing that that's gonna happen. So this is a fairly good candidate high for me to bust up and make splits for my new queens that are coming in two weeks. So we'll check it again uh, and probably pull some splits out of here. I could have just split this in two right now, but uh, I don't believe I'm gonna do that. I'm just gonna let it go for now. But uh, that is it. Hive 20 is good. Give me a thumbs up. We'll catch you on the next beekeeping video. Y'all take care.